there are some makeup products that I literally can't stop reaching for and today I wanted to talk about them. My most used makeup in my whole collection. There's gonna be a lot of pans in this video. There's gonna be a lot of use in this video. If you like pristine, clean, like perfect makeup, this video is not for you because I am a project panner and I love using up all of my makeup, getting some really, really good use on it, getting my money's worth. Nothing makes me happier and I have so many products in front of me today that have major use on them and I'm so excited to share them with you. So just like a video that I did maybe a few days ago as you're watching this, I did a most neglected makeup in my whole collection. I find it really easy to just go in my eyeshadow drawer and just talk about eyeshadows. So I've got things from different categories here today. So maybe I have like 20 eyeshadow palettes that are more used than all of my lipsticks, but I still wanted to include all of the categories in this video. But just before we do jump into this video today, guys, if you have not already, like and subscribe. I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel. I love bright, fun, colorful makeup, as you can probably tell today. And as always, everything on my face will be linked down in the description box. Some of those things may be affiliate links. So if you do shop using my links, thank you so much. It means the world to me. It just means that I get a small commission from your sale at no extra expense to you guys. All right, let's jump into it. I'm gonna go in the order that you do your face. And also quick side note, when you're watching this, I am on holiday. I'm on holiday from the 1st to the 8th of September. So I might not be as quick on responding to comments and things like that. So just so you know. <laughs> so let's start with foundation. My most used foundation is my Revolution Matte Base. I've actually already gone through one of these. It is my absolute favorite foundation in my whole collection. It trumps out all of the bougie, expensive foundations that I have tried. This is like two to four pounds, depending on if you get it on a sale. It is in incredible. I'm very self-conscious of my skin. I get very, very bad acne. This is so full coverage. It blurs pores. It's really thick, but it's still comfortable. It's not so matte that you look dead. It still gives you some life to your face. And I absolutely love it for that. I will repurchase this till the day I am no longer here. Honestly, I think this foundation is so beautiful. And I tell this story all the time, but I was in Superdrug and I saw this on sale for two pounds and I thought it has to be awful. So I'm gonna buy it. It's two pound. I'm not wasting much money. It's gonna be so bad. I'm gonna try it on camera and like laugh with everyone, but it was just incredible. So there we go. I got duped there. I, I did not realize that I would love this so much and I will just continue to use it. I love this thing. It is gonna be a repurchase after repurchase and I cannot put this down. Speaking of repurchases, oh my God, the amount of times that I've repurchased this, this is my collection, Lasting Perfection Concealer. I think this is number three now, maybe, maybe it's number three, maybe it's number four, but this was one of the first concealers that I tried. And if you're in the UK, you may be the same. I feel like this is everyone's first concealer in the UK. It's super cheap, it's easy to get hold of, and it's just such good quality as well. I have the shade two porcelain because I do like to use this as a mixer every now and then. It is quite light for me, but it still works under my eyes as well. Again, I will just repurchase this forever. This is a very, very new one. I finished my last one quite a while ago and I was without this for a very long time, which made me so sad. But if you're ever after a staple concealer and you're living in the UK, this is amazing. This has gone up in price though. I see you collection. I can see you. <laughs> this used to be in the three pound range, but now I think it's like four pound 50 or something collection what is happening but this is just absolutely incredible it's so thin as well it's so full coverage this is without a doubt my most used concealer again i've repurchased it so many times and i will continue to repurchase it so many more times as well so next i have a powder and if you watch my rolling project pan you will know this powder this is my Too faced born this way pressed powder and look at this there is like nothing left in here this is such a firmly pressed product. Even this is gonna take so long to finish and I've learned that the hard way. I've been working on this for what seems like forever and every day
day I am slowly but surely getting more and more use on this but oh my goodness me I think I've been panning this for like a year it feels like I have honestly it's one of the only pressed powders that I use I think it is the only pressed powder that I use to be honest and I'm just so determined to finish this and as you can see I have repressed it I repressed it quite a few months ago if you could believe that but I'm getting all these rings coming through as well and hopefully I can have this done by the end of the year, but I really don't know. It's one of those that I keep saying, this will be done in like no time at all. And then I regret that statement because I'm still panning it, it's still here. But look at the use on this. This is by far my most used powder in my makeup collection. And I'm actually gonna be really sad when it goes because I've just been using it exclusively for so long that I'm gonna be a little bit like shell-shocked I think. I'm gonna sit here and go what other powders are there? <laughs> so I'm gonna go through these two fairly quickly because these are my pan that palettes. I do have my other pan that palette in this video. It just kind of felt wrong to not include them in this video even though they are kind of like obvious. Of course my pan that palettes are gonna be some of my most used products in my makeup collection. But let's start with Coco Blend. I did actually film my update not that long ago. It would have been quite a while ago for you guys, but I am pre-filming for my holiday. I'm so excited. But this is what the first palette looks like. This is the Dessert and Mastery of Chocolate. I have repressed this highlight once already, and then I've re-hit pan on it as well. It has been my go-to highlight all year. It has been a long haul, but hopefully I can have this done by the end of the year. And then Mastery of Chocolate has a massive pan on here. Again, huge, huge, huge progress. You guys did vote for me to pan these at the start of the year. And so I was like, you know what? You guys know best. I'm gonna do these as pan that palette. Even though I did not want to do these as pan that palette, but you guys were right. I've absolutely loved working on this. This especially is just like, so satisfying to look at like oh look at that and then I have the spice of life this may not look as used but this was completely finished this year and so can it be my most used product if it's an empty I don't know but then I do have this blush which isn't as used but it's definitely got a lot a lot a lot of use on it and hopefully I can expand this pan very very soon so yeah these have been my most used products this year by far cheek products anyway I've absolutely loved working on these and I'm still not bored of them yet which is an absolute win because I do get a little bit a little bit bored of products especially when I have to use them constantly but these two have just been amazing I've absolutely loved them and so yeah definitely my most used a lot of pans there and let's talk about an old old favorite this is my Ofra glazed donut and it's probably going to make my screen a little bit dark for the time being but this has not been in a project pan but look at the pan on this this is huge this was my first ever high-end like anything I think I'm pretty sure I got this from Beauty Bay when I first started getting into makeup and of course I had to buy it because Nikki Tutorials, the queen of glow, I wanted a super bright, vibrant highlighter. And I mean, look at this. For not being in a project pan, this is crazy. You guys may know I love my project pans. I love trying to focus on products and get use out of them. But even when I'm not focusing on this, I'm hitting pan, I'm expanding the pan all the time. The product is so thin here as well. I just love this so much. It is such a staple go-to even now. Yes, it's an old product, but it's still a good one. So of course I'm still gonna use it, even if it is slightly old. You can tell just from the pan on this, I've just loved it so much. And I, I just, mm, mwah, chef's kiss, love. All right, so let's talk about some eyeshadows. Here we go. So single eyeshadows, I have ColourPop Ritz. Now you may think when you see this, that doesn't look too loved, but this is actually my second Ritz. I made a rookie mistake with my first Ritz and I think this is why it dried out so much. It actually came out of the little box thing and I figured out that it was magnetic. So I put it in a magnetic palette and the air got to it, of course. However, my old Ritz, it had a huge pan in it. It was like clinging on to dear life. I had used and abused this so much. And so of course I had to repurchase it when I made a ColourPop order. 
I love this so much. I don't often shop from Colourpop just because it is very, very difficult to get here in the UK. The shipping times is crazy and then the taxes is even more crazy, but I just had to buy this. I think I got this on a free international shipping deal that Colourpop do quite often. They are the saving grace for me. They are the love of my life because honestly, it's reunited me with Ritz. For an everyday look, it is just beautiful. I don't do everyday looks that often, but this just takes my breath away every single time. It's just stunning. One of the best eyeshadows that I've ever used. And honestly, I can see myself repurchasing this forever. It's gonna go dry, it's gonna go disgusting, I'm gonna have a massive pan on it, I can't use it anymore, and then I'm gonna repurchase. There aren't that many products that I would repurchase till the day I die, but that is one of them. Also, that's a good video idea. Let me know, do you wanna see a video full of the products that I will keep repurchasing forever and ever and ever? Let me know down in the comments. I think that's gonna be a fun video, but let me know, do you think that's gonna be a fun video? I think so. So again, similar story with Pan That Face palette, Pan That palette. Oh, when I show you this, if you have not been keeping up with my Pan That palette updates, boom, what a shock this is gonna be. These are the only two shades left. Technically, this is two shades. This is Love Letter and Red Ochre mixed together. And then this is Realgar plus a bunch of random eyeshadows to cool it down a little bit. I've gone through pretty much all of this. There are three shades, I think, in a blush that I still need to finish up. That is something that is on my next year's panning list because after these two are done, I just need a bit of a break from modern renaissance. But I've been using this as a bronzer. It's what I'm using today and I love it as a bronzer. It is slightly orange, but it's gonna get me such good use on this. So I know this is definitely gonna be done by the end of the year. It's just this one. I'm a little bit worried about this one, I'm not gonna lie, but when these two are done, I'm gonna have pretty much a finished palette, and that is insane. To have so many shades done is crazy. I've been panning this since the start of last year. I would not recommend that. If you guys are panning a palette this year and you think, oh, I could like roll it into next year, have a break. I'm very burnt out by this, but I'm determined. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep panning it and I am going to finish this whether it kills me because I've, I'm not letting all these years of progress go to waste. I just keep looking at it and I'm just like, wow, I've done that. I've done that. Me, I've done that. I've finished most of these shades and it just makes me so proud. And I mean, the outside of this palette is disgusting. It shows its age. I really shouldn't be putting this on my eyes at all, but I just can't stop. It's like, I have to do it. It's like an addiction. I've got to, I've got to finish these shades. I've got to. Do you think I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year? Let me know. I really, really hope so. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because... It can't, it can't roll into another year. It really can't. If it's not done, it's not done. <laughs> and then I'm sure a lot of you guys are waiting for this one. This is my Book of Magic palette. And when I open this, oh, I just look at this and I'm just so happy. Look at all the pans in this. This is crazy. There's so many eyeshadow pans in here. And I love that. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. You can kind of see it's a similar vibe to what I'm wearing today. I could have definitely done this look with this palette. And I just think it's beautiful. I've hit pan on more mattes than shimmers. I find that with the early Beauty Bay palettes, the shimmers are a little bit hit and miss. They tend to be a little bit like goopy and a little bit thick. So I definitely prefer the mattes over the shimmers in the early palettes. But the more modern Beauty Bay palettes, are, that does doesn't even happen. The shimmers are just gorgeous as well. But this is such a me color story. Blue is my happy color. I've said that so many times on my channel. I just love blue so much. And this is such a gorgeous color story. So of course, I've got so many pa Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pans. Over half the palette has got pan on it. This has been in so many different project pans and I'm just so excited. This was actually runner up for Pan That Palette this year as well. And maybe I should have rolled it in because the winner of Pan That Palette this year ended up getting kicked out in like February. So maybe this should have been Pan That Palette. And I dread to think what this would look like if it was Pan That Palette, it would be annihilated. But I'm so happy. I'm gonna continue to use it. Hopefully hit even more pans 
because I'm still not bored of this yet. Absolutely not. So now I'm going to talk about eyeliners. I don't really talk about eyeliners that much, but I have, I mean, ignore my waterline today, but I have two staple eyeliner looks, either a black or a blue. So this is Colourpop Prance, and this is also a repurchase. I sadly didn't finish my old Colourpop Prance, but it did dry up and there was barely any product left in it. So I did repurchase this and I love this shade so much. It matches my eyes so well. And again, I think this is gonna be a product that I just keep repurchasing over and over and over again because I just love it so much. I love it so much. It's perfect. It goes with neutrals and it goes with blues. And if you guys don't know, taupe and blue is my favorite color story in the world. I sat down today. I've had a few like lazy makeup days. So I sat down and I was like, I'm going to do taupe and blue and a pop of purple because why not? <laughs> but Prance is like an absolute go-to. I find it goes with like anything. I just love it. And then black is like a true staple. If I'm doing like an everyday look, I will always put a black waterliner on the waterline. This one is the number seven one. I'm not as keen on the number seven one. I I did finish a collection one and I also finished a different one as well, but I really want to get the Urban Decay one. I think that one's going to be so good. So I'm focusing on finishing this, but as soon as this is done, Urban Decay, I'm coming for you. I am coming for you. Maybe that's going to be on my Black Friday list to buy because I need to start thinking about that because that's coming up quite quick. Oh, even saying that makes me a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. Just saying that Black Friday is coming up scary. Where is this year gone? <laughs> and finally, I'm going to talk about two lip products. Now, when I was choosing these lip products, I was kind of like, are these my most used? But currently in my collection, they are. Obviously, I have finished a few lip products before, but they are out of my collection. So let's talk Slacker. This is a Colourpop Lippy Sticks. And this is all that I have left in this product. That is it. I've rolled it all the way up to the top. This is it. And this surprises me because I'm not really a pink lipstick person, but I have just been absolutely plowing through this. I've used it a few times as a cream blush as well. This is in my rolling project pan and I am trying to finish it. I don't think it will take that long. I do need to remember to reach for this. That is the main struggle with project pans, you know, actually using your products. But I'm really happy with this. I love the Colourpop Lippy Sticks formula. I did get sucked into buying the Vault, which we've all been there. I think we've all been there. Uh, we've all bought a Vault of some sort and gone, why did I buy this? But this was part of like the, how many were there? There were like 40 maybe, even more. That is crazy. I would not do that right now, but I'm really excited to finish this, but I am still lusting after Colourpop Cookie. That was my favorite shade of this and I, I want that back every day. I might repurchase that. I might do it. I might do it because I miss it so much. And finally, this is an old, old, old product. This, can you even read what this says? This is the Sleek Glass Impact, the Lip Shot, Sleek Lip Shot. And it's in the shade Plot Twist. Now this is a really nice red without being a red. It's exactly the color on the packaging, which again, I love. This seems to be the lip product that never ends. I went through a phase of wearing this constantly, like literally nonstop. And that phase lasted months. And this still has not finished. Like, I, I actually don't know if this has an end to it because this surely should be used up by now. I have used it so many times times. And in my last video, or maybe a few videos ago, I did speak about my most neglected products. And one of those was a pure bright red lipstick. Whereas this is very like subdued red. If I'm going to go for a red lip, I'm going to go for something more like this, just more subtle, more just everyday, not as bright in your face. And I just love them so much. This shade, I need to reach for this more. This has been one of those products that I love, but I've not been able to reach for it as much because I'm so busy with project panning but luckily I have cut back on quite a few of my project pans recently so that makes me very happy and I'm really excited to play even more with some old favorites 
Look at that, I'm just so excited to reach for this. So here we go, these are my most used products in my whole makeup collection. I have got some absolute oldies here and I just love them all so much. I'm definitely gonna do that video of the repurchasing, like things I'll repurchase forever and ever because I think that's gonna be so much fun to go through my collection and really think about what can I just not live without? So definitely stay tuned for that video coming very soon. Again, I am on holiday right now, so if you have any burning questions, then don't hesitate to reach out on Instagram, but it may be a little bit of a while. I'm in, I'm in the sun, baby. I'm celebrating 23 years of life, which is crazy and terrifying, but here we go. This is where I'm gonna love you and leave you today, guys. Like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.